So I'm out in the woods, finally. It's been raining pretty much non-stop since like the beginning of October, apart from the past few days. But there's been, like I said, there's been so much rain. Just the walk coming in here, I was like almost ankle deep in mud, which was fun. Looking down at my shoes, because most of it's managed to get off walking through all the brambles and stuff, getting in here. Um, yeah, it has been atrocious. The land is liked it though, kind of. I managed to find a few leaks that I'm gonna have to plug. Um, it's been pretty cold the last few nights. We've definitely had frosts. I saw ice on some big puddles as I was walking in. So it was definitely below zero again last night. But I'm out here today, I am gonna cook some burgers. I am hungry as well, but because for all the rain, I'm definitely gonna have to find some dry standing wood. Or dead standing wood that's dry. Should be dry on the inside, hopefully. But anyway, let's get on with it. I have in here, I'm gonna take this off. It's kind of getting in the way, but. My bush stove, which some of you will have seen before. Um, you'll see it again in a minute. I'm already a knife. Keep that in there for now. My spice kit that, that I got from Colin, which is fantastic. I'm gonna to get to use that. My brew kit, you haven't seen this before, but you will see this. Um, well, this is not so much my brew kit, but my um, also part of my cooking setup. It's a different cooking setup that I've got. Anyone in the military will know that that is a Crusader cook set. That's everything in there. <clears throat> Just in there, I have my little skillet, which I had to re-season this morning. Um, some cheese and plate and burgers. And my bow saw. No, that's not a bow saw, that's a Laplander. Oh, anyway, I think you can tell I'm a bit excited to be out. I am. <laughs> Incidentally, uh, if you like my videos and stuff, um, I'm going to put a link in the description for my Patreon uh, page where you can donate to help with the channel because currently this is my only form of income. Um, so yeah, so you can donate for as little as one dollar. Uh, can be, I think it can be a one-off or a monthly one, I can't remember which. But anyway, there you go, little plug. So I'll get it in at the beginning for a change. Rather than put it at the end because no, I, not everyone watches all the way to the end. So. Let's go on the hunt for some wood. Oh, I can tell I've not done this for a while. And I know I'm holding that in the wrong place. Okay, let's try and bring this round a bit. Screw the top of it. So, yeah, things have been a bit bit slow. I have made a few leather items though. And sold them. And what else have I done? Oh yeah, I've started another YouTube channel. And you think, you're probably going to say, why have you started another YouTube channel when you struggle to get time to do this? Well, I've done it because I do struggle time, uh, time to get this because I have to get out for this one. This other YouTube channel is just basically me and uh, doing just stuff that I do. So you can call it a blog or a vlog, really. So, uh, but check it out, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's for well, I can't, so I do, I enjoy filming, I do enjoy filming and sharing stuff, so I thought I'd do it for that, basically. I think I have currently nine subscribers of it. Yeah, I really need to get out more doing this sort of stuff. Alright. 
convenient little beach branch that's uh, hanging up there. I can use for a little bit of kindling. Ah. So if you've never seen one of these before, or you have, and you sort of wondered, you know, are they worth the money? Oh. Yes, they are. <laughs> Saying that I struggle in to get it open. So I've not opened it for a good while. So it's gone a bit stiff. Oh, it really has gone a bit stiff. There we go. I will use the ash pan. There. I do actually have, and it's there, I have a Leatherman as well, which is new maybe i'll do a little video on that i don't know i've got i've got a few bits of new kit actually so maybe i'll do one from home where i'm just doing a, a bit of a new kit video something like that people are gonna go no you can batten in with your knife i've batten with my knife loads of times These mowers are friggin' bomb proof. Oh, that does feel damp. That does feel damp. So, even though it's really wet, I'm still going to clear the ground a bit. Not too much, just enough. Ooh, somebody out with a shotgun. Double barrel. So, if I you, let's use this as a wee platform. This is amazing. Bury that down there. Kind of like little feather sticks. Mm, that one almost has an aniseedy sort of smell to it. That one. Right. Make sure all them bits go in there. Yeah. Look at that! What to do with myself? Shavings. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen me use birch bark, uh, watch to the end. I'll put a little thing up in this corner, and I'll direct you to a video where I just use this. And in fact, I'll do the one that I use lots of different natural tinders. There we go. Get the old fat wood.
Drop that in there. Raise that bit of birch bark in there as well. We have fire. Hopefully it's going to take. If not, I do actually have a hexy block. Which... That goes to step two. There. I think we're going. Cool. Brilliant. Oh. It's been a while since I've been kneeling down. I can't just fit two burgers in this. Like that. Shove that in there. I was an idiot. Oh, let's put my other gloves on. Well, that fell on the cheese. It hasn't melted the plastic, so it's not that hot, which is good. Shove that on there like that. Hmm. Then, put the old burgers on. So, oh yeah, that's the other thing. Spice kit. I got this from uh, Colin, who does a channel called Pagan Preppers. That's the spice kit. Also, we've got a brew kit, which is at the bottom. Because um, there's a, a Facebook group called Outdoors TV, and. And pop this off. Well, that's a nice sizzle, isn't it? No, that's not popping off. I just want a bit of chili. Okay, I'm getting bits out. I'm getting bits out. I'm adding chili, and the cheese that I've got is chili, is spicy chili cheese. I also am a fan of pepper. So we're going to pepper this up. And it's probably already got a bit of salt in it already, but. There we go. Ooh, nearly lost it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, it's kind of melted the spork a bit. It's burger time. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one, leave one in the pan so it stays warm. Have my cheese. I nearly touched the pan handle. You stay there. This is the bread cake that wasn't very good. You know what, let's think. Let's use his brain a little bit.
Ugh. Face full of smoke. Face full of smoke. One nice big slab of cheese. Squishy on that down. And numb. That's a good burger. Yes, I'm glad to be back out. Uh, I'm going to try and get more videos done. Uh, doing this and doing my other little channel. See where that goes. A um, couple of little shout outs I shall do. Uh, Brian and Paul for their support on through my Patreon page. Um, if you donate and you want a good shout out, I'll gladly give you a shout out. It's the least I can do. So I'm going to take another swig of this coffee. Ugh. Ditch the rest. I'm going to clear up, get home, edit this video. Although on my way out I'm going to walk out that way. Rather than through the fields, I'm going to walk a long way around. It's about a mile out of my way. Basically, so I don't end up pulling like four pounds of mud into the Land Rover. Because honestly, it was like having moon boots on. But anyway, thanks for sticking with me, guys. And uh, like I say, I will be getting out for a camping video soon. Check out the, the, the links in the description below for and other videos I'm doing. I'll point you in various directions and whatnot. But, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.